My name is Rithika Kachum and my project is Girls Help Girls. And our mission statement is that we're a public health organization that aims to support young girls, women, and menstruators through providing hygiene products, mentorship, and resources for advocacy. So I'm sure that everyone here is uh, familiar with our project and the mission, but just to quickly go over it, uh, what we do is we create um, hygiene packs containing menstrual products like pads and tampons and we distribute them to organizations from Palm Beach County and now Fort Lauderdale. And uh, what we do is we really tackle the issue of period poverty, which is the insufficient access to menstrual products and education for menstruators. So one really important statistic is that 84% of students in the US have either missed class time or know someone who missed class time due to lack of access of period products. So this issue is very prevalent, not just in schools, but also in shelters, daily life for menstruators all over the world. And we also co-founded the Coalition Against Period Poverty, uh, which has the aim to advocate for a systemic governmental change towards achieving menstrual equity. So just to go over some of the accomplishments and progress that Girls Hub Girls has made this year is we officially have our very first uh, pilot program at Santa Lucia's High School, uh, where we put four pad dispensers. Uh, we were featured on WPTV News. Uh, we held a virtual packing party called 3P Cap uh, last fall, and uh, we started a club at Suncoast High School. So I'm just gonna go more in depth about the Santa Lucia's High School Period Product Program. So here's just a brief timeline of the events uh, that led up to uh, it finally. So it really started last year in March and we just got it um, kind of instituted in April of this year. So it took around a year to get everything set. But really we started out with um, creating contacts with product distributors, county commissioners, and school board members of the Palm Beach County School District. Uh, we worked really closely with school board member Erica Whitfield. Then uh, our CAP team spoke at the Palm Beach County Legislative Delegations. And here we could directly speak with our representatives <clears throat> about the importance of this program. And then we drafted and got an MOU approved, which is just a memorandum of understanding. And then we eventually ordered all the products for Santa Lucia's high school. And then a ribbon cutting finally took place. And we were actually featured on the education network for the school district, um, County of Palm Beach. And um, we have a video up on there and we are also featured on their website as well. So here's just a couple pictures from the ribbon cutting ceremony. So um, on the bottom left, as you can see, it's me and the Philanthropy Tank team, uh, Caitlin, Megan Enriquez, she's the other co-founder of CAP. And then also my principal, um, Principal Kerner came from Suncoast High School and school board member Erica Whitfield came. And in the top right, um, you can see the rest of the CAP team and I around one of the dispensers with our poster. So that was a really gratifying moment. You know, we've been working towards this idea um, for about a year and it was just really cool to see a thought, a, a kind of a point in a meeting become real life and making real change that's gonna go on for years to come. And that was just the most gratifying part and the most important part of what we really do here at Girls Have Girls. So some of the accomplishments from the Coalition Against Period Poverty include speaking at the 2020 Palm Beach County Legislative Delegations. And we were actually featured on Representative Omari Hardy's Instagram. So we got some more awareness about period poverty and about our organization. Uh, we also met with the School Health Advisory Board, known as SHAC. And there we talked about the importance of getting these pad dispensers in the schools and really making the systemic change. Then um, we met and collaborated with Florida State Senator Lauren Book's office in support of the SB 242 and HB 75 Learning with the Dignity Bill. So what this bill would do is it would put pad dispensers in Florida schools um, to really make these products accessible and free for people. So in support of this, we actually launched two petitions. So our first petition was last year and we got over 800 signatures and we recently launched uh, this year's petition. So we are still waiting on getting more signatures, uh, but really we are trying our best to 
kind of advocate in support of this bill. And we met with other Florida chapters of period and other period related organizations in Florida uh, to talk about how ways in which we can work together and expand uh, people's awareness about this issue. So COVID-19, it really changed the whole world. And Girls Up Girls obviously had to adapt to make meaningful change. So a lot of our stuff went virtual. So as I said earlier, we had a virtual packing party and it was known as 3P Caps. So on the top, um, you can see that's a little screenshot, but we actually had 45 people attend this event. And basically what it was, was um, instead of just packing these period packs alone, everyone got on a Zoom call together. We had two speakers. We had some music and that was a really fun moment. Um, on the bottom, it's the Girls Hub Girls Club and I, what we did is we had a virtual screening of the period end of a sentence documentary. So this documentary uh, actually really got me into the issue itself of period poverty in the very beginning, but it's about how women in India um, were having trouble finding access to proper menstrual hygiene care and how they had to um, make it their own and really find their own opportunities. So we watched that and we had a discussion about it and we've also been having drop-offs. So we recently just um, partnered up with the Delray Library and we put a bin out there in collection for pads and tampons. So what we do is we plan to put that around different libraries and places in Palm Beach County to really get the pads and tampon donations. So just in terms of impact, uh, Girls Hub Girls has around 15 community partners and CAP has 20 plus community partners. In the Girls Hub Girls Club, we have 40 members and we have 12 club officers and we've already selected the officers for next year as well. So we are good on the succession of Girls Hub Girls at Suncoast High School. And by the end of this school year, we would have, uh, we will have distributed and collected around 40,000 individual period products. And uh, as I said before, for our 3P cap virtual packing party, we had around 45 people attend. And some of our main partners I've listed on the right, um, we have the Women's Foundation of Florida and our one of our mentors, Takita, actually heads it. So that's been a great, um, support system and we have a couple of other um, organizations there as well. So just to go into budget and resources, so um, our budget's pretty simple. What we really spend it on is just pads, tampons, and the brown paper bags. Uh, we started doing business cards in the beginning um, and putting them in each pack, but we kind of stopped with that just because of um, cost efficiency. And then, as you can see, our very last expense is the four dispensers and the two years worth of pads and tampon supply for Santa Lucia's high school. So that came around to be $6,800. That is subject to change depending on how the products are used in the schools. But for now, um, that's our estimate. So in the future, uh, what we plan to have is different chapters at schools and colleges. So I know when I go to college, I plan to um, open up a chapter of Girls Help Girls there. And I've created a summer task force with the president, um, the vice president and me, who are gonna lead this initiative and focus on creating materials uh, for this. Um, the next one is to um, start a mentorship program for youth. We're still in the very early stages of this and it's just an idea right now, but we really wanna work on kind of expanding the network aspect and reaching out to younger girls and connecting them with high school girls as a kind of mentorship program. Uh, future plan three was to distribute more types of hygiene products. So I was actually reading this book by Nadja Akimoto. She founded period and uh, she founded the organization period. And she talked about how a lot of period packs lack um, wipes, uh, kind of sanitary wipes and how they're very necessary. So right now we only put pads and tampons in our packs, but I really wanna focus on getting wipes in there as well. Um, our future plan for us to become a nonprofit. With this one, I really wanna become a nonprofit in hopes of receiving monetary donations, which would help a lot in terms of buying pads and tampons. And then the fifth uh, plan was to create a website for Girls Hub Girls. And we actually have two events coming up. So, um, we have an end of the year uh, period packing party. So uh, we're thinking of doing it at the Delray Beach Public Library uh, as we're in collaboration with them and they've given us the go. So most likely it's going to be there. 
Um, and then we are in the initial stages of planning a period packing party for the beginning of the next school year at Suncoast High School. So right now we're just trying to find any venues for it, preferably outside because of COVID. And then um, right now we have our partnership with the Delray Beach Public Library where we're collecting pads and tampons out there.